Hi, Carolina here, and today's video is about why it's so important to start saying no. So I see very often when I work with my clients and actually from my also my own experiences that we often are scared to say no. So for example, if someone asks you something, we go into this tendency, most of us, to please someone and we want to be liked and loved, so we're doing things for, for someone. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that, uh, to, to do favors to someone or help someone, but what I want to talk about is when becoming your pattern. So you cannot say no, you always saying yes to anything, even if something is not aligned with you. Even if you feel that this is not for you, I don't actually want to do it, but I'm gonna say yes, out of obligation we often feel obligated to do certain things or there is certain like people pleaser uh, pattern where okay I want to be loved and liked uh, so therefore I'm gonna do it so why I'm gonna talk about this because it's so important to change how we see no for me no is the doorway to yes so for example if I am exhausted and tired and somebody asks me for doing another shift or drive me to the airport somewhere and I know I don't want to do it I want to stay with myself it's actually not safe for me to even drive it's so important to honor yourself where you are and say start practicing saying more no's because actually instead of using your or wasting your energy to do that what is not aligned with you or you may be already being depleted you're feeling so depleted emotionally or energetically so there's zero energy and you're still pushing yourself to please someone it's it just will bite you back you're gonna feel much more more lost and exhausted and disconnected with yourself and not honoring yourself so it's very very important that you start honoring yourself first and imagine that there's a container so filling up this container with the energy so bringing the energy in by saying sometimes no if you are this having this tendency to say yes to people because this is your pattern it will change your life if you start saying more no so why is so difficult to say no or even hearing when we hear from someone no let's say you ask someone to do something and you hear no what we immediately associating with no is I am rejected, I am not loved, uh, he doesn't care about me, he doesn't love me or she doesn't love me. So we associate no with rejection and that's why it's so hard for us to hear, let's say you ask your husband, darling can you help me with whatever laundry and you hear no and we get so much uh, this personally and we offended often we can punishment on subconscious level let's say today is no sex or i'm not gonna cook for you i'm not gonna do anything if you ask me as well and oh we're gonna be uh, snappy or not very happy then we kind of creating this revenge energy which is not serving anyone you know we are in headspace with story um, space instead of being in our hearts so the purpose of this video is to helping you to understand that no is not a rejection it's just a belief really deep in your subconscious level which it's worth to work on that and transform these beliefs and programs which probably coming uh, from your bringing up and your mom dad and probably see them do they ask people for help probably not uh, or if they ask of course they worrying what they're gonna be told or they cannot also say no or if they hear no they are very offended and very hurt watch yourself how you're reacting to no whether you're saying no or when you're receiving no so no for me it's a doorway to yes so for example if I am asking someone to do something let's say can you help me to paint my wall and this person saying no like I want you to see this like thank you for saying no and thank you for being in your alignment because if this person say no and this person say no and this person say no, I know that one day or sometimes I will find someone who will say yes so then finally I will ask someone and they say absolutely I would love to help you and can you see there is a win-win situation we both gonna enjoy doing that because this person chose yes and is doing with alignment hopefully <laughs> 
But if I am dragging and begging and being offended, why this first person didn't say yes straight away and said, why can you help me please? But I'm literally dragging this person. So it's lose-lose situation. And probably this person gonna create some resentment that it just doesn't want to do that. And I may feel guilt, you know, because I actually dragging this person to, to do that. So start changing how you see the no and whether you saying no to someone you're actually giving yes to yourself so you're using this energy for something which is very aligned with you instead of wasting this energy to something that is so not aligned with you and when you hear no just tell them thank you because you will find perfect yes which is gonna be win-win situation so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful if you have any comment just um uh, or any insight or you need any help on that just uh, message me and if you like this um, video just thumbs up and see you in the next video Carolina here and bye for now